Thank you so much for watching. Do you get up in the morning, particularly on the weekends, and you might have a wardrobe full of jeans, but you have that one pair that you cannot stop yourself from wearing? You try and break that habit, but it doesn't matter what you do, you always find yourself going back to that one particular item. Pick that item out and think, Hello, good friend. How can we make you look a bit different? One of the first traps that I think most of us fall into when we've got that one item that we love is it's not just the item itself. We tend to wear it styled in the same way every time because we know it looks okay. When you have to take one item and think outside the box and create different looks with it, if you don't have the time or if you kind of don't care, it can be quite a boring thing to do. So what I like to do is this. Saturday afternoons, make yourself a coffee or a tea, put on some good music, hang out in your bedroom and just try on your favorite items. Maybe it's a dress, you try it with different shoes, you have your hair up, you have your hair down, you've got a different bag or a different coat. Just keep working through it until you have a few combinations that you think, yeah, I'd never tried that before, but I quite like how it's looking. The first combination that I'm gonna show you with this is with this pair of leggings. Can I please just recommend these? They are from Spanx, they were not expensive. The reason why I love these over and above wearing even a good quality pair of yoga leggings in the day is that these have been specifically designed with the intention of you wearing them in the day. They are higher waisted, you don't get any muffin top going on with them, that makes it feel more like a trouser and less like a legging, plus the fabric as well. The fabric doesn't feel like that sort of um, nylon exercise material. If you're new, if you're old, sorry, you've heard this for ages, but if you're new, the my particular stance on fashion is I love high-end fashion, I love the quality, the durability, I love the cut. I think a lot of the time with designer fashion, you get a cut that does not even compare to high street, particularly on coats, jackets, and dresses. As soon as I put this jacket on with the polo neck and those trousers, I already knew, okay, I've already come up with a new combination for this top. I felt so good wearing it. Plus as well, this blazer, if you're considering this, this is called the Hourglass Blazer. Balenciaga have produced this for a couple of years now. That was another reason why I got it, is because even though it's slightly strange in its design, I didn't want to go and buy something that was a one-off and then this time next year I'm like, what am I going to do with that? Because they've been doing it for a while, I feel safe in that knowledge. Last year it had gold buttons on it, this year it's just got two black ones. It's quite heavy and it's made of wool, so when you wear it, you feel good, but also with it being spring and some moments it's quite warm, others it's quite cold, it's a nice way of migrating out of your coat into more of a jacket, but it's one that's warm, it's structured. Another tip for you is accessories. If you are struggling for ideas, or if you've got something like a dress, where the dress is the main show and it's like, there's only so much you can really change with it. Accessories can play a really massive part in taking something from something that looks quite dayish to something that looks quite evening. So even if you don't have a lot to mix things up with, Change up your handbag, change up your makeup, or your hair, or your shoes. The next outfit, I didn't change this top or the trousers. I just changed the jacket and the bag, and can you see what a difference it makes? This was the bag that I put with it, which is the Gucci Marmont waist bag, and it works so well with that camel-coloured coat. But also, adding this in with an all-black outfit really accentuates your waist. I haven't even changed the shoes, but I've just added in two extra things and it's completely changed what that looks like. Do you know the weird thing is, when I was doing this, when I was trying to work out different looks, and I was actually doing it because I wanted to wear this top yet again, and I thought I can't keep wearing the same combination. People are gonna think I've like got no clothes to wear. And I just spent some time mixing it up and that is how I came to different looks. The next outfit incorporates a different pair of trousers and these are, they're kind of different for me. They're not necessarily a style that I was wearing for a while. Like the flared boot cut thing, I feel like it's coming back in again. It's been gone 
for quite a few years but I wanted to get a really good quality pair of flared trousers. I'd already bought some from Topshop because I didn't want to go and spend loads on them and then feel like the flare was not for me. I got them on Topshop, not these, but another pair, and the fabric was so bad, it sort of created static when I wore them, but the silhouette made me think, yeah, I am into this, so I sent those back, and I got these, which are from Alexander McQueen. They are, the quality is impeccable. A bit like that, that coat, it's not just the quality, it's the cut. High Street, you can get the look. If you wanna add that extra, finesse to an outfit. What designer gives you is not just the quality of the fabric and how that fabric looks close up, but it also gives you the cut, like such a perfect cut that suits you. I wore these two things together, just with a Gucci belt round it, and I wanted to mix in a different colored handbag. I put this with a really light mauve lavender Chanel handbag that I've got, and I did that because I was thinking, like, hopefully we're moving more towards spring, although it keeps snowing in the UK still. Wearing all black can be incredibly classic and classy. A lot of us wear black when we want to cover up, and there is a tendency to wear black and for those black items to be baggy and loose fitting, and that, isn't always very flattering. I think sometimes it can do the actual opposite. So even if there are things you're looking to try and hide, there are different ways of doing it. Wear black, but for example, if you don't like your stomach, wear something that's got an empire waistline on it. So it cuts in underneath your bust and then skirts out. Or wear something like a peplum top, which cuts in slightly lower down and still skirts out over your, your tummy. Then the final thing I added that almost created a fourth look was I added in a blazer. So I'm wearing the top and the trousers. I've added in that Gucci belt, which has got gold on it. The mauve Chanel bag, the double C's on it, all the hardware on it, is a very similar tone to the Gucci belt. It's sort of like an aged gold. It's also warm. You can get these in different materials. Um, this is a wool one, and it, it, if anything, it's probably warmer than that Balenciaga because it's quite thick fabric. Don't feel pressure to stop wearing your favorite items or to get rid of things in your wardrobe that you've maybe had for a long time. Being conscientious of fashion and being aware of how much we're not only just spending, but also what happens to those clothes after we get rid of them, whether you give them to charity, or I know I've got a friend who just puts them in the bin. I'm like, please give them to charity, don't put them in the bin. Several years ago, 2015 actually, and a lot of you have been with me since then, you may remember that I used to buy so much from H&M and it was, a, a huge waste of money and it I thought I was saving money by buying all of my basics from there and actually I was just pouring my money down the drain because I'd buy a pair of jeans, I bought a pair of jeans, they were black jeans, felt really comfortable, they'd been in the wash once on a hand wash setting, the dye had come out, they'd gone a grey colour, they, they just looked like I'd had them for 10 years. The amount of clothing that I got through during that period of time, mainly from H&M, um, but also from other places, even from Zara, I've spent quite a bit of money in there before on things that have not washed well. It does depend on your budget, but I really think that buying from labels that are quality doesn't even have to be designer. High End High Street is a really good example of it. I have got a jacket from Reese that I bought in 2010. I still wear it. It's like the, the style of it, they still do. It's been dry cleaned so many times, but it fits perfectly. It looks, it looks really good. I really hope this has given you some ideas and thoughts on how you can do the same thing, take something you love and continue to wear it, but in like a whole bunch of different ways. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.